Okay, so I was doing some more uh, memory testing uh, recently with the Z590 Dark that's coming out to the market any day now and obviously with the Intel Core i9-11900K and now uh, this seems to be like the max for like daily stable uh, operations so uh, 2 times 16 gigabytes which is uh, probably the most interesting uh, configuration for uh, the most wide audience especially for the guys who are looking at these uh, two slot motherboards like the Z590 Dark the Tachyon from Gigabyte, Maximus 13, Apex, and so on. So uh, 4800 megahertz with 19, 19, 19, 36, uh, 360 common rate one timings. Somewhat reasonable, like uh, sub timings. So 23 on the four active window, cache write latency only at 14, and uh, last thirds at seven and seven. Now I'm not fully sure are these correct, like. Uh, some of these settings as uh, this program is meant for the Z590 uh, OC formula from uh, ASRock but I think it should be pretty much all right in terms of accuracy so now let's shut down the uh, tests themselves so they all passed at 100% uh, full capacity pretty much so uh, let's check I'm sure you are most of most of you are interested in the uh, actual uh, bandwidth of this configuration so uh, the uh, ADA64 memory test. Now uh, for this configuration I had to use 1.45 on the system agent and 1.45 on the auxiliary VCCIO. So uh, the VCCIO auxiliary voltage is the uh, like the new dedicated VCCIO voltage for the Rocket Lake CPUs. But however for some reasons in some situations I do have to set the uh, original VCCIO up as well or uh, I might get some weird hangs in some uh, specific workloads like the ADA64 cache and memory benchmark. So for example when I was testing I was fully stable in uh, like normal mem test at full capacity but when I tried to run this particular test it uh, hanged the whole system if I didn't set the normal VCCIO up as well. So uh, this was kind of new finding. Didn't see it before. So now let's check the overall bandwidth. So read, I think it should be 73,000 maybe, something like this. 73,579 megabytes per second, that's actually quite high. And remember, CPU at 5.2 gigahertz, 4.5 on the cache. CPU could do 5.3 easily at this voltage. Write almost at 75,000. And copy speed is much faster than, what, than uh, with uh, single rank modules. So this, uh, I think this is overall a tiny bit faster than uh, single ranks at 5 gigahertz. So 73.5, 74.8 roughly, 72 roughly and 44.1 nanoseconds. So I think it's pretty good. So uh, now I will uh, just save a screenshot of this whole thing. Oh, I wanna, before we try any further, I wanna check. So uh, small icons, I really hate this feature in Windows 10 and overall in Windows. So high performance, and I will uh, do a retest because it runs the CPU at uh, power consumption mode or power saving mode at 800 megahertz for most of the calls. I want to retest the whole thing now with max speed. So high performance, so 73.679, no big difference there, almost 75. And copy, let's hope for 72 plus. Almost roughly 72 and latency uh, 43.9, 44, 43.8. So it did actually have a slight impact on the actual performance figures. So now let's just save this and uh, do a one more Geekbench free run for the memory score. But I actually had to set the main timings to 19, 19, 19. And the most important one was the uh, uh, CAS latency itself. So uh, on the Z490 Dark, which was far superior to any other Z490 motherboard when it came to uh, like memory overclocking from daily perspective, uh, with that board I was able to run 18, 18, 18 fully daily stable, but only with uh, 4700 megahertz on the memory. But that could have been like the memory itself. I mean the CPU's IMC. 
So, uh, so far, the overall like memory overclocking experience has been actually worse on the Z590 compared to the Z490. But that was obviously with the Z490 Dark, which was very good for like uh, memory clocking, memory overclocking from daily, perspe daily perspective. So many other motherboard uh, models failed much earlier than the Z490 Dark Kimpin, so to say. So uh, yeah, pretty good. So now I will, now I will just run Geekbench 3 and uh, yeah, let's see the actual uh, memory uh, score in the multi part. And look at that, memory score 11,323, that's absolutely enormous, if you ask me. So much better than what I got with single ranks, so uh, yeah, definitely awesome, like, daily configuration. So, uh, I don't know, let me know what you think, so leave a comment down uh, if you uh, like to see this video and these uh, performance figures. So. Uh, Obviously, the uh, motherboard, so the Z590 Dark, is coming out to the market way too late. It should have been out like one or two months ago already, but there were some issues because Rocket Lake has been actually a quite difficult like platform to design, so to say, compared to uh, the previous ones. But uh, overall, I think the uh, motherboard will turn out just fine. So, uh, yeah, so let me know what you think and... Uh, Definitely check out this motherboard uh, when it's listed and uh, some of these uh, like memory kits as well. So uh, I think G-Skill has now released even higher bins of these 2 times 60 gigabyte kits. Like uh, and they they do have at least like 4400 CAS 18 or CAS 19 available. Not sure about 4600, but just saying. So SPD and save. So yeah, so uh, if you like to see this video, then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and leave a comment down uh, if you have any questions. And yeah, thanks for watching one of my videos once again, and I will see you on the next one.